Rob Quijano here at PugilistReport.com. I'm here with Rashid Lawal, Anthony Lysal Smith, and Aaron Michael McCain. All three are going to be featured on the card June 12th in Fresno, California. Rashid, he was a member of the 2008 Lagos, Nigeria Olympic team. Anthony Lysal Smith, he had the privilege of being trained by Tony the Tiger Lopez before he got injured for his last fight, and now he's being trained by Otis Griffin. And Aaron McCain, Aaron is the founder of Gladiator Boxing. He's also a boxing coach. Rashid, how is it different here from Nigeria as far as culture? How long have you been here in the United States? Uh, I've been in the United States for almost three months now. Uh, I like it here. The training is good. I, find, I like the way I train over here. I like the equipment. And I'm happy for this fight. Okay, what was your amateur record? Um, in Africa, I'm number one in Africa in 2007, 2006. And Namibia, I won silver medalist. In South Africa, I won gold. Um, in Asia um, Championship, in the Friday match, I won gold. And actually, um, in 2006, I was rated as the number six in the world in boxing, number two games. And um, in Germany, the last two years, in 2013, I won the kickboxing tournament in Germany, Stuttgart. I want the 160 pounds kg, one pounds. I want the, the trophy there in kickboxing. And I want the best boxer of Nigeria in 2010, 11, the governor's belt. And I'm in Nigeria, I want the best boxer in 2007, twice in Nigeria. And I was in Nigeria, all African Games, I want Bruce Medalist. In all African Games, 2007, I want Bruce Medalist in Nigeria. And um, in Ghana Championship, I won gold medal for Nigeria. And um, in so many games in Australia, I was in the final. So now I won silver medalist in Australia Commonwealth Games. I, um, I debuted the brand Kamal of Canada in the quarter final. But um, actually, I was rated there in second, second places in the Commonwealth Games. And I believe I'm going to make um, this team and this. Um, I'm this uh, country proud, and uh, I believe I'll do the best. I'll do all my best in the name of God. I believe God will do everything for me. Excellent. And I like it that way. All right. Anthony, now you've had three fights. One was a split decision loss, one was a mar majority decision loss, and then the other one, you knocked out an undefeated fighter. <laughs> okay. So tell me, is it something about location? Do you have to take it out of the judge's hands? Um, this fight, no doubt in my mind, I'm beyond ready. I'm ready this weekend, next weekend. Um, this training camp has been the best training camp I've ever been in so far. And I was honored to train with the, with the money team back in June multiple times. And I've learned a lot. I've been training all over the world. And um, losses make you better. I don't, I don't look at them as, oh, I got beat. I didn't get beat. I beat myself. Can't nobody beat me. And um, this fight, like I said, I'm, I'm beyond ready. I hope he's ready because if not, it's going to end early. But do you feel you need to take it out of the judges' hands? Yes. Because obviously the judges had, had it in your favor in those other two fights too. Yeah. So, all right, and what about as far as training with Tony Tiger Lopez? You mentioned TMT team and now Otis Griffin. I mean, do you feel like a sponge just gathering all that in? I do. I'm a sponge. I soak everything up. I have an open mind. I'm not one-minded. I don't have a closed mind at all. That's how you become a great fighter. Okay. And Aaron, you, you're the founder of Gladiator Boxing. Boxing coach must be an inspiration to all little kids. You haven't fought since 2000, if box rec is correct. Yep, that's correct. <laughs> that's right. What's bringing you back after all this time? Um, just the drive, and just the motivation, the fact that, uh, you know, the, that my losing record torments me, you know, for 14 years now. And I, I figure I might as well before I'm too, too, absolutely too old to do it, you know what I mean? I got to get the cut of what it shit out of my system, so. While I'm still willing and able, I might as well hit it, right? Yeah. I understand. Yeah. You got a lot of people supporting you, yes. students? Yes, thank God. I'm very appreciative of all of them. I, mean, I couldn't do it without them. No. I wish all three of you the best of luck. Amen. Anything else you want to say to your friends, Rashid? Um, I always say to my friends in my country, Nigeria, that um, happy Wednesday. And I, unless you trust me, I'm going to make them proud. I'm going to do well in the books. And I'm ready any day to keep their hands. <laughs> All right, Anthony. Um, stay, I stay ready so I ain't got to get ready. I'm not much of a talker. Uh, I learned not to talk so much. Being around my mentors, such as Floyd Mayweather, Jeff, Roger, 
Everybody elite in the boxing game, you leave it all in the ring, so I'll just show y'all what I have June 12th. And Aaron? Likewise, likewise um, I'm, I'm prepared to give you guys a great show. I'm looking forward to giving you guys a great show and having a great time and night of entertainment. Get there early because my fight's first and you never know what can happen. Yeah, well, your opponent's favored from what yeah, I hear. Yeah, he's a, yeah. So, I mean, I, obviously, I'm 41. He's like 25. I ain't fought in 14 years. He should be favored. If he wasn't, I'd be worried. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm the spoiler, so I'm, I'm here to silence all the naysayers. All right, fellas, I thank you. I'll be there. June 12th, Fresno, California. Thank you.